You know, I used to have dreams. I used to be a very happy person, but that all got crushed. One time, my mom told me, can you go to Walmart and pick me up something? And ever since that day, all my aspiration and dreams and happiness got thrown out the fucking window. I for that one visit from Walmart, which is why today we're going to be wrecking Walmart, the store. In all honesty, Walmart can suck my dick. It is the biggest supermarket in America, probably the world, yet it is the fucking shittiest. And I don't know any people that actually enjoy to go there. I haven't met a single person in my whole life, and I've been alive for 23 fucking years, that has said, I like the store. Yeah, Walmart's a pretty good store. So can somebody please explain to me why there's so many of them, and they never close down, and why their stock always keeps going up. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, it's because they're fucking assholes who take price cuts on everything in the store so you can save money when you go there so you kind of forget about how miserable you're gonna be for the next hour and a half that you're gonna fucking be in there because you'll be saving a good, what, $30 on your trip if you buy a lot of things at one time. They're so fucking huge that they can afford to take that loss. They'll make up for it somewhere else. But do you ever wonder how they get these cheap fucking prices? And I know what you might be thinking. Aren't you Jewish? Shouldn't this make you happy? Don't your people fucking run faster than a speeding bullet when they got a coupon? I don't wanna hear this shit from you. Well, since you probably only think about your goddamn self and you never wonder, beyond forces, how there's a cause and effect to everything, let me teach you how Walmart gets these low fucking prices. Here's one of the things that Walmart does to be able to give you such low fucking prices. Let's take, for example, a bike company. This brand new bike company that makes really good fucking bikes, right? Walmart caught an eye on them, so they offer them a deal. Because Walmart are such nice fucking people, right? Walmart goes up to them and says, yo, at the moment, we know that you are probably only selling around 9,000 and 10,000 bikes a year. We're gonna bring you to the big leagues, but you gotta only sell to us. You cannot sell to other stores. Only sell to us, and we'll buy 100,000 of your bikes as soon as they're done in production. You have five months. This little bike company is probably ecstatic as fuck. They took the deal like there's no tomorrow, but they only got the capacity and knowledge to make 9,000 to 10,000 bikes a year. So what do they need to do in order to make the hundred fucking thousand bikes? Well, one, they need to fucking probably move locations and get a bigger warehouse. Two, get a lot of employees to help them because a hundred thousand is a pretty big fucking number. And three, this costs a lot of fucking money to do. So they're probably gonna take out a loan because in their mind, they're guaranteed to get paid right back as soon as Walmart gives them a check for the hundred thousand bikes. This is just common business, right? Well. Here's what's gonna happen. Somewhere down the line, Walmart knows these people are gonna fuck up. They're gonna fuck up. They do not have the knowledge or experience to make such high production amounts of their product. They were only making 10 times less before. So five months roll down the line and they only managed to make 80,000 bikes. And then Walmart goes, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck there, buddy? Do I look like a schmuck? The deal was a hundred fucking thousand, not 80,000. Deal's off, bitch. And wow, just like that, this bike company now has 80,000 fucking bikes that they can't sell because they don't have any deals or anywhere else. Because Walmart said if you only sell to us, but now they have a much higher rent and a bunch of employees and a fucking loan to pay back. So guess what these people are gonna have to fucking do? They're gonna have to auction off their product at a cheaper price for other people. Oh, but here's the fucking twist. When they're gonna auction off their fucking bikes, guess who's gonna show up to buy their bikes? Walmart, at a much cheaper price than what they offered them to buy them at. Cause Walmarts are fucking geniuses. And then they can sell you this bike for a lot cheaper than what they originally said they would. And that's how Walmart can give you such cheap prices on such products because they're fucking assholes that do shit like this. And this is perfectly legal and it happens every fucking day. Another reason why Walmart can actually offer to sell you such, such cheap, cheap fucking prices is because they don't pay their workers anywhere near enough what they fucking deserve. Do you always wonder why it's always an old lady over there or some dude at the fucking 
front like an old guy just saying hello to you. These are people that didn't have it right growing up, that didn't have the right teachings and didn't save up when they did have a job when they were younger and now they're stuck with their social security which isn't nearly enough to survive off that so they need to go get a part-time job at walmart to cover some of the expenses that they need to fucking live with and walmart knows this so they take advantage of them and offer them minimum wage even though people are worth a lot more than that and walmart totally afford to pay them more they won't they just won't but then guess what? These people that work at Walmart, well, they're pretty much working on a fucking slave plantation because every dollar that they fucking make over there, well, these people need to survive elsewhere, right? Like they got a house, they got, they need to buy food to survive. And guess where they're gonna go spend all their fucking grocery money? At Walmart. So it's pretty much like Walmart's getting free labor. They got that part covered as well. And that's how they can offer you cheaper fucking products at a cheaper fucking price. And guess what happens when you don't pay your fucking workers enough? Your customers get a shitty fucking experience. Let me tell you the story that I have. The one time my mother needed something and she said that what she needed was cheaper at Walmart. I went at walmart.com and at walgreens.com because she needed some sort of like pharmaceutical thing. And yeah, she was right. It was five dollars cheaper at Walmart. So my Jewish tingles started going uh and I had to go to fucking Walmart because five dollars is like what like one and a half cups of coffee at Starbucks and Starbucks is pretty fucking expensive and I made a whole video about that you should watch it after this video. So of course I went to Walmart thinking well this is only gonna take like about five minutes I'm gonna go there I'm gonna ask the pharmacist whoever is working in that section where is this product I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna go pay for it I'm gonna come right fucking home with a cup of coffee in my hand from the money that I saved by not going to Walgreens. But that didn't fucking happen, did it? Of course not, why would why would this normal scenario happen? Why would a good experience ever happen at Walmart? There's no such fucking thing. Who the fuck was I kidding? I was legitimately lying to myself because as soon as I got to Walmart, I stood at that pharmacy for a good 20 fucking minutes looking for this one product by my fucking self and I couldn't find one employee to help me. And I used to work retails, ladies and gentlemen, so I know how much of a bitch it is when somebody comes up to you and it's something so simple, but sometimes you just can't fucking find something. So I walked out of the pharmacy and I saw a lady close enough to the pharmacy with her name tag in her hand. And I was like, oh God, she probably just got off when she's on break. Well, you know what? Don't be an asshole. Just go up to her. You used to work retail. You know how to talk to yourself, right? So go up to her and just ask her, hey, you're, I know you're probably off on your break, but can you just point me out where I can probably find some help? I've been here for about 20 minutes and it's getting kind of long. Nothing rude there, right? I address that I noticing that you're on break. I address that you, this will take two seconds, just point me at a fucking direction. You work here, it should take you no fucking time to fucking do this. And this bitch, I'm talking about this woman, which now I understand where she's at in fucking life. Like, I don't know what happened to you, but I'm happy you're in your late 40s and you winded up on Walmart. I know some people don't deserve to be there and there's just whatever happened in their life, but trust me, some people do deserve to be there and this bitch is fucking one of them. She told me, actually, I'm off the clock. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, Since you're off, the question's still valid. Can you point me somewhere else? Like where I could probably find an employee to come help me? And she said, sir, I just told you I'm off the clock. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is hard being a Jew. I walked out of that Walmart with my dick in my hand. I got in my car so fucking quick and I drove my happy ass to fucking Walgreens as I was tweeting at fucking at Walmart to go fuck themselves because I will never spend another dime in that bitch again. I got to Walgreens, I walked in, I got an employee, I asked them where the thing was, it was $5 more expensive. I didn't give a fuck, I paid the extra $5 and I was out of there in three fucking minutes with a fucking smile, because Walgreens don't have to fucking treat their employees and won't just hire anybody, you know? like Or maybe they will, I don't know, I don't give a fuck. It took me three fucking minutes at Walgreens, well it took me 20. 20 just to get fucking insulted. I went to Walmart to get insulted. That's why I went there for it. I didn't go there to buy a product. I went there to go get fucking mad. That's what really happened. And I vowed to myself that I will never go back. Like, I am never going back to Walmart a day in my life. But 
Of course, I'm, I'm lying to myself because Walmart is the only place that's open at 3 fucking a.m. So there's no escaping Walmart, no matter how you wanna look at it. You know what we could do? We could suck it up and go to Target. If I can avoid Walmart on any cost, I fucking will. Even if it means I gotta pay now an extra 20 fucking cents at Target for the same fucking shit that I could get at Walmart, even the same fucking brand is just cheaper at Walmart because you know, they're fucking assholes aside, like I explained they are. I can, I don't give a fuck. I will spend an extra 20 cents. And I want you to vouch to me that you will do the same. We gotta stop giving this company our fucking money. This needs to fucking stop. I give Walmart zero out of five chicken wings because that place sucks the fucking dicks, yo. Like, fuck Walmart, man. I do wanna leave you guys on a pretty positive note. And that positive note is that I act have a Snapchat. Who would have ever fucking guessed? And guess who doesn't follow me on Snapchat? Losers and fucking whores. So if you don't wanna be a loser or a fucking whore, I suggest you follow me on Snapchat right fucking now. There is a moral story to all of my videos. And that moral story is don't ever deny yourself the fucking lows. That means that no matter in how much of a dark situation you're in, no matter in how much deep shit you are in life, no matter what happens, if you can find the humor in a situation, fuck it, laugh at it, it will make your life a lot easier. And that's what it means to not deny yourself the lows. You know who has a lot of dark lows on their Snapchat? Your boy. So make sure to follow me on Snapchat right fucking now if you don't wanna be a loser or a whore or if you don't wanna deny yourself the lows. That's three fucking things for the price of one. I really fucking hate Walmart. I refuse to go there if I can avoid it. I don't care how much I gotta pay extra. I don't give a fuck. Walmart can suck my cock. I know so many people that actually work there that then they tell me just how much shit it really is. Anyways, make sure to check out my other videos about me ranting about other fucking products and make sure to check out my other videos where I dissect videos. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and like I mentioned earlier, watch all of my fucking videos. And if you skip the fucking ads, I swear to fucking God,